Is this for the Bumps Man Action? What? And violence prevention. Uh, I guess I can't sign that because I have a gun. <laughs> you do no, absolutely. You want to sign it. Responsible gun owner. <laughs> yes, very responsible. We don't want your gun. We just want universal background checks. And yes. 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 Some and I think that I think laws. I think it needs to be on the driver's license. So if you have a gun permit. When you hand your driver's license over to the police officer, it should tell, tell you. Yeah. They can tell immediately. So you don't have to, like me, I have to carry my permit and driver's license. Well, if your driver's license has that on there, mm -hmm. the cop already knows when he pulls you over. You may or may not have a gun. But otherwise, you got to fumble for the set and the other. Mm -hmm. if, if you want to take this, it's got a little bit about our goals on it, and you can think about whether that aligns with what you believe in. And just feel yeah. free to come. No, it's totally. Sign up for it if you want more information. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Oops, sorry. You're okay. <laughs>
HIV testing events and communicating with communities in Columbus to promote the importance of acceptance and love. I want to take this opportunity to talk about a, an amazing young man and activist that was tragically murdered in 1998. Matthew Shepard was the victim of a homophobic hate crime that at that time did not have any law that persecuted those attacked that attacked LGBTQ people. Judges, police, and other forms of authorities could, if they chose to, ignore this bloodbath of hatred. After Matthew Shepard's trial, several states and the federal government passed hate crime laws that were and are intended to protect marginalized groups of people, including sex, race, ethnicity, and sexual orientation. Indiana, however, is one of five states that, in the entire country that does still not have an inclusive hate crime law. Governor Holcomb signed a proposed hate crime bill that excluded gender identity. Although Governor Holcomb has stated that he supports an inclusive hate crime law, our state congress still has denied the inclusion of gender identity into the bill. Today, there is a rally in Indianapolis at the State House to let Indiana legislators know that we will not outcast our trans brothers and sisters or our non-binary friends and family. We will not let our state ignore the violent acts that fill our state. We will rally, fight for love, we will march, we will educate, we will strive for acceptance, and most of all, we will do it being proud of who we are and who we love. I want all of us today at some point to make a statement. I understand that we all have a busy lives. We have friends, families, jobs, pets, just stress overall. But I want you to write a letter to your legislators, write a post on social media, take a photo with a sign, make a video, do whatever it takes to get the message across that we as LGBTQ are humans, just like our straight people. We not only should be entitled, but we deserve the same human rights and protection as our straight counterparts. 
We need an inclusive hate crime law now. It is our state's job to protect everyone. They cannot pick and choose who is important and worth protecting. We will not back down from this. When I came to attend school here in Columbus at IEPUC from where I had lived in Franklin, it looked pretty, pretty good. So welcoming, so inclusive, so diverse. But as I engaged more in the community and observed about the politics, policy, and behavior of the city, I concurred that it was and is still not as accepting as I thought surrounding LGBTQ especially. Although it has increased in acceptance and diversity, we still have a long way to go. As a community campus on IEPUC, I've seen how living in a double world can affect young LGBTQ students. To be so scared, to be open and accepting of oneself, while knowing at the end of the day, they are forced to reject everything who they are when they have to go home. Seeing friends that are LGBTQ, seeing them behave like they had to wear an invisible cloak to hide their pride. I, to have to deny who someone is because of other people's perspective and negativity is revolting. No one should be marginalized for who they love or how they dress. Hate crimes have been on the rise within the past couple of years. This is partially due to the political climate that has also taken surface. However, it's also on us too. The activists in the crowd and in our community need to be more radical. We need to fight harder, stand up, not back down, be brave, and most importantly, be confident in who we are. I believe that the unified love that we share with one another as a community, we can strive to make Columbus a safer and more accepting city. I implore businesses and bars in town to voice the support in welcoming everyone regardless of race, gender, sex, sexual orientation, religion, color, gender identity, or gender expression. We are human, we are community, we are proud, and we are Columbus, Indiana. Thank you. Thank you.